Uh, base. All right, I think we're about to watch the uh, Lumacos and Rayhan set. Oh, oh this is running. Oh. Oh, never mind. I misread uh, who was on the camera. All right. We got uh, Poke Pen Jojo here. All, All right. right. Let's Winners see if, finals. Let's see if Poke Pen sticks. All right. Right into it. Sticking with the. Uh, oh, oh maybe he's not. messing with you. Banjo and Terry. Oh. Oh, no. We're getting the grand tour of the character select screen. Where are we going next? Go Yoshi. Like. Do it. I would love to you see know you. You know you want to go like. Yoshi's hype. Mad at night. <laughs> Yoshi's not hype. I lied. Um, I don't know. All right. Well, we know we're going up against the Tomb Link. That's a that's Steve. 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 We got the we got the chant coming in from the background. But uh, all right, all right. Uh, looks like it is gonna end up being the snake. And what? Well, oh, all right. It's almost the Jonas and Cinnaroar. All right. We got Snake versus Tomb Link here. I feel like this might be a little tough for Snake. Tomb Link's really mobile on the ground yeah. in the air. Mm -hmm going to be able to maneuver around those grenades, maneuver around mm -hmm. the B reverses, maneuver around everything, be able to get up high with that up air to catch Nikita recoveries going high. Uh, I don't know, maybe the shield will have something to do. I doubt the shield will have mm -hmm. anything to do with this matchup, but we'll see. What do you think? You know, Snake is one of those characters I feel like the collective opinion is like across a lot of people is, oh, Snake's really, really good, but my insert random character here beats Snake. Like, everyone thinks that their character does well in the matchup. So I have to go into this with a little bit of that mindset. So I play Young Link, and I think we do really, really well. And Toon Link essentially has almost the same game plan. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like a lot of mid-tiers will give top-tier characters a hard time, and then mid-tier characters will mistake that for winning because they're giving characters a hard time. Mm -hmm. You know, like... But then you go like real like mid tier like polarizing matchups. Like a funny one I think is like Duck Hunt and Diddy Kong. Or Duck reason, Hunt actually bodies like for, Diddy Kong. Yeah, for, for some, some reason. reason like Duck Hunt bodies Diddy Kong. Or Jigglypuff and Min Min. Jigglypuff absolutely bodies Min Min. That's funny. It's hilarious. Just because of the air mobility and edge Oh. Party. All right, but let's get enough about other matchups. Let's get into the game. Yeah, so it was a really nice edge guard sequence just now from JoJo where he uh, exhausted the options Pokemon had with uh, just throwing out all those hitboxes off stage, and then uh, ultimately ending up getting the F forward tilt off of an air dodge. So, uh, oh, good job using the hitbox on the up B to contest the Nikita there, of making the hitbox kind of null and void. Let's see if, what other uh, tools JoJo will use to. Avoid all these ledge traps. Yeah, I think it's going to be a bit of a keep away game now, but also arrow into returning rang into bomb fair was nuts. See, that's what I was talking about, right? You got that high jump height, able to cover high with that forward air. It's going to give Snake a little bit of a hard time, not as easy yeah. as he usually has it. JoJo doing an excellent job of racking up damage. Oh, like, watch out for the C4. Oh, great job with that retreating fair, covering lots of ground. Oh, that air mobility. Floatiness, keeping Toon Link. Oh, oh, oh there's a spike. And what? that is oh. going to be the three stock to open up winner's finals. What a Let's great mix-up, saving it for the very end of the game. I love that. And you have the of best win screen in the game with the yeah. little pig. Do you know you could pick what win screen you get by holding the D-pad? I did. I just don't know which one of my win screens is which. Oh, so I, I haven't done it yet. I learned that at Major Upset. I didn't know you really? could do that. Yeah. Huh. All right. Maybe we'll see if we're gonna get a change out of Pokefan. Maybe we'll see the pirate. We're gonna see a change. You go maybe, get maybe the random button. Maybe the Steve. You don't get three stocked as one of your pocket characters, and then uh, oh whoa, hold on, that's a wolf coming out. But the JoJo wolf. Interesting. Go Ike, do it. I saw it hovering. Pokefan's Ike just makes me excited. Yeah. Let's see. Maybe we're gonna get the hero. Hero. Cloud? Wow. Uh, All right, there it is. Okay. Top five character in the game. Oh, my oh gosh. no, it's not. No, yes, it is. Stop tricking us. I need some stability in my life. All right. All right. The now other this top is, five character yeah. in the game. All right. This is the classic early meta matchup here. Well, this is also one of uh, 
Pokemon's best characters, in my understanding, is it's like, out of the people he's played, actually, I think I'm a little out of date. The last I heard, it was this and his Sephiroth that were really uh, the hard hitters. Mm. I've heard musings about his Steve lately, too. I don't know if that's anything to to listen to or not, but interesting with the angled up F smash. I don't know if that was a misinput or he's trying to get a hard read on a neutral get up. Oh, or oh, I was probably just trying to catch a jump, I think too. He's just trying to down tilt. That was nuts. Uh, he just wave shined him across the stage. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. I'm now I'm kind of curious why we're seeing the counter pick here. I mean, maybe this is old. Jonas won game one, so he had to pick first. There was some conversing between them in between sets. I wonder if there was any maybe stipulation set or something like that. Pokepen knew he was going to get cooked by a Toon Link. Set some odds. Hmm. Maybe there's some hot lore we don't know. We'll have to ask. Yeah. All right, there we see the optimal ledge trap. Oh, wow. I was gonna say optimal ledge trapping, but they just got reversal really quick by Pokepen. Oh, trying to go with something spicy. Ooh. Getting the forward smash for it though. Big telling him to sit back down with that big claw of his. All right. Oh, waiting out the Calling air dodge. Out the air dodge. Oh. Awesome. Some really smart play coming out here from this wolf that I didn't know existed. I'm loving those mix-ups with the laser. Oh, oh man, not quite going to get the stock there with the up throw. Oh, all right, let's see what this ledge trap is. Oh, and that might have just cost and him a stock. That's a platform yeah. assist too. Yeah, that just cost 100%. him a stock. Under a platform, you do not want to be up for it by Rob up there. Or uh, uh, Rob up there. Oh, that almost killed. This right. wolf is so smart. Alright. Oh, oh, honestly, oh. both players are playing the anomaly right Just now. Just threw out three kill moves, four kill moves in a row, hoping one would hit. Finally got one. JoJo is playing a bit desperate there. Got rewarded for it, but let's see if this playstyle will uh, keep panning out for him. Alright. Got his obligatory 50% for wolf. Oh, that. Boom, boom, boom. What oh. was that movement? Shh, moving, I'm telling you. Oh my god. Oh, good catch. Oh. These mix ups are insane. He, he read the fastball there with that laser. That would have been nuts. Oh. oh, and back here. Oh, not quite yet. Not quite yet. All right. You just have all the options in the world. But yeah. Wow, holy smokes. I feel like. Jojo recovered way too high with that side beat. A couple too many times. Could it just a bit? Maybe um, three times. Could be unfamiliarity with uh, those types of situations. It could be, but that, that cost him the stock, right? It cost him that stock that last time. It cost him the stock on the platform. You know, it mixing up that recovery is, is super, super important. Two minutes yep. coming back this out. This is exactly what I expected. I feel like the... The, the little links do really well into Rob. Yeah. He gets I, comboed for free, and uh, you have the zoning to... Or you have more than enough zoning to compete with that know. type of game. Lots of uh, stereotypes and stuff like that are rooting truth, and Rob is big. It's a whole joke, but it is true. Rob can get comboed for various percents. No Toon Link isn't a big combo-heavy character. He's got some... Two three-piece combos that could really uh, send Rob flying. So we'll see if the JoJo can utilize that. I want to really uh, pay attention to how Pokemon's going to position himself in this game to avoid all these uh, projectiles. Because he got absolutely washed by that uh, Toon Link in game one. So let's see what he's oh, going to he do. Oh, he was playing that... Weird snake. The Rob is definitely a much more seasoned uh, pick for yeah. Ash here. Let's see uh, what he can do to. Oh, I like that little shield. Oh, bomb out of shield or bomb while in shield is such a good out of shield option. Basically, a little snake kind of tech. Oh, good tech. 
Yeah, you're an even bigger legend if you parry the bomb while you're holding it in shield. Oh, that's cool. Because then you can do any grounded option out of it too, lagless. Yeah. Oh, good call out on the laser in the corner. But, but uh, punish dash attack. just holding shield that lets you uh, do whatever aerial you want to parry at least. Oh, getting hit by a lot of these stray projectiles, but Rob being as heavy as he is, honestly, at the percent he's at too, can just take him because he can't get any real combos off uh, of him. I think they're both at the point now where they can get a kill throw, actually. Well, uh, Toon, Link's Toon Link's is back throw. Back throw, but yeah. it has to be at the ledge, especially against Rob. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah, it's a kill, kill throw, but not that big of a kill throw. Mm -hmm. So if Pokepen just stays in center stage like he's content doing right now, there's not much Ooh, I feel like Toon Link's trying to do. kill him. You know, but he's right now probably just gonna retreat back to center or just oh, lose. Or um, yeah, yeah. No, that bomb and shield has been bomb and doing shield. Yeah, work for Jonas. All right, down to two apiece. Yeah, that whole first stock didn't happen. We're just playing a five-minute two-stock game. All right. Oh, almost got a Z-drop combo there. Boom. Oh, oh he went for the started. double toss. Can't quite get it. These high nares aren't doing much. I'm not getting many hits. In control. Might be doing some conditioning for him. That's above my level, though. I All right. Can't say oh. I understand it either. That was but. yeah. <laughs> that was a dangerous air dodge up, though. That could have been dangerous for him. Oh. Yeah. Miss uh, making me miss uh, Project M when air dodging through an item automatically causes you to catch it. That was a great parry on the boomerang. Couldn't get a punch off of it. Great spacing to get that punish with the Zaird dash attack. Hitting that golden percent for Toon Link. Let's see if he can capitalize, get a kill off of it. Trying to get these return boomerang combos. Oh, but this. Oh, another parry. Well, up smash won't do it. Rob is just too big. God, that gyro at ledge is so oppressive just being there. Takes away so many options. Oh, what there is he it is. Doing? That percentage. No, no, he just stood there and attempted to pull Gyro I think it was, it was on cooldown. I think it was on the other it was on the other side of the stage. But he did it three times. I don't think he realized and was just mashing. <laughs> Probably. Alright. This has been a back and forth game. Alright, so one stock, three minute game. This is the uh, the Elite Smash classic. When I run into these, I will just do everything I can to time them out. Yep. Alright. Up there doing oh, that long lasting up air doing miles. Juggling. Sword longer than you think it is, too. It yeah, all the way around Rob Nair. And the Rob's best option and disadvantage seems to be Nair, but the sword coming out fast enough, lasting long enough that Nair can't really do much. I also want to point out that this is the first stock that uh, Jonas has started with a lead. Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, this Pokepen who came out the gate swinging and getting that combo damage up. Oh, that's pretty but good. This time, it's just the opposite. Jonas uh, started with the lead, and we see. Pokepen starting to oh. clock back, and then... Oh, no, he's still got a chance. But, uh, yeah, so Jonas is at 80. Uh, 100. Like, this is now all of a sudden last hit game. So, this is... Honestly, I say this is not an even game right now. This is favorite for Jonas, right? Because one opening... Uh, either of them can die in one hit. Yeah. Like, that back air would have killed. That up air would have killed. That up smash definitely would have killed. Ah, uh, yeah, you're right. I was lying. Yeah. I was lying. Yeah, no, percents are not on the lead. Positioning is everything right now. Honestly, positioning... Match... Oh, uh, gosh. Yep, that's the yeah. F tilt. That'll do yep. it. I was lying. But JoJo still won. I wasn't lying. I just don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is he, he choosing the pig? I don't know, but he I caught it he twice is. in a row. That's funny. Congratulations. Best pig catcher of southern Seattle, JoJo de Hobo, 2023. All right. We're in West Seattle. Are we in West Seattle? I don't know where we're at. I'm not from here. I'm just joshing you. It's all right. <laughs> I'm not uh, from I'm, I'm messing around. I'm not from here either. I grew up outside Chicago. Oh, did you? Oh, That's yeah. That's cool. Um, oh, but. A reluctant handshake. The mid-set, the double mid-set fist bump. That, These guys are homies. This is, that. there's some meta to that. It's a saying, a, sending a message. It's like, oh, don't even worry that I'm a game up. We're just bros. Don't worry about it. But in reality, JoJo is fiending for the win. Oh, they both are. 
Oh, oh there's another gyro pole without having access to it. That's uh Oh, love you showing a little unfamiliarity here, but I like those early percent. You don't need to be sorry. No, that's yeah. good. I was just talking. So you don't need to be that familiar with Rob to get 80 percent on the two lane. That is so. very true. I've found that a lot with characters. You don't really have to be familiar to get their early strings. It's more Ooh. getting kills. That's super hard with a lot of characters. Maybe not like Wolf, that where you could just throw out really options or something. There. But yeah, I'm with you there. Like, I mean, everybody can kind of like you can watch a lot of characters and pick up a lot of their bread and butter stuff that way. And yeah. when you're as good of a player as uh, Pokepen and Jonas are, then you're sure you can pick up a lot more than uh, somebody like me. Uh, but yeah, yeah, it always it's it is always what to do in these crisis situations. We're both at 100. We need to get the kill. Whoever gets the kill is at a huge advantage for the rest of the game. Yeah, I, like this is where you need to know your character. And I feel like in a matchup like this, mm -hmm. or in every matchup in general, getting that first kill is so important. Just because you can set the pace of the match. And even so if it hard. does end up being a wash like this one was, that first kill, like you're, the fact that you got it first means you have the even playing field at the very least. So, and they're so fast. Right. Down tilt pressure, coming out, putting JoJo in the corner. They seem to be pretty comfortable a lot of this game. That Nair is getting a lot of mileage with the last couple interactions here. Oh, tries to recatch the bomb with up air. It didn't really work out. Gets the rollout coverage. Oh, catches the bomb though. Oh, gets it. Oh, oh he falls got out. out of the up air. That was really impressive. All right. We're string by Pokepen. It was a uh, shame it didn't quite end up working out. All right. Here we are. Near even percents. Yeah. Pokepen at a golden combo percent for the Toon Link. Yeah. Toon Link, really light. Rob has a lot of kill power. Even game on second stocks. Game four. Really pivotal moment for the mental of the rest of this set. Let's see what happens here. Oh, we got an arrow approaching Boomerang. Can't get the capitalization. Can't get that forward air. Pokemon was spaced really well. Oh, bomb can't do anything. Oh. Boomerang, tech chase. Oh, nope. Didn't Young Wheat's Boomerang is better. It shoots straight up. Yeah. All right. Oh, man. All right, look at this. This is just crazy. Oh. Okay, oh, and then the Nair is just barely going to catch uh, Pokemon. I think he died at close to 200. Yeah, you but have Pokemon no. Pokemon actually going to manage to get on a decent amount of percent yeah. before uh, JoJo is able to get this stock. Now, this is the real reason why you want to get that stock first. Especially so you can apply that damage. You can get something going while your opponent is still trying to figure out how to get rid of your last life. You have a huge head start here to poke a pen. Especially and looking like Jonas is going to have to pull out a miracle here. Oh. Starting with that down air to make it to this game five. No. Or, oh, never mind. Uh, sorry, Jonas up. So to avoid the game five, but it's like today, May. Nope. There's still hope. All game right. four, Jonas. Oh. Oh, we got the burner boost again. A little mix up in the corner, try to get him swinging early. Not gonna work. Jonas trying to take center stage at all costs. Oh, trying to get something started with the back air, gets it. Oh, you got oh. it. Something started there, just didn't end oh, it with anything DI, other than another back air. DI out, avoiding the up B finisher. Trying to get him onto a platform for a tech chase, get him up to that 100, 110% threshold to get some of his combo started. Uh, but trying to avoid that kill throw, that, uh, kill option from uh, Pokepen. Doing a great job avoiding it, but I don't know how much longer you can do it. But Oh my god, that was almost it. Oh, and there that it is. is! Right at 100. Wow. Got that boomerang to forward air, what securing him the set. What an insane comeback that from is Jojo to Hobo. Awesome. He is so consistent at getting those kills right at that percentage. That is so dangerous to be around. It is insane. I, just, and just the fact that he managed to live for so long. All right, let's... Uh, Go back, look at the snake game. This, uh, this was a JoJo to Hobo combo video a little bit. Well, let's see. Oh, but, oh here we got the spike. And do see, uh, such a big Pokemon tried box. to do it to him, and he said, Nah, no, son, you're getting spiked. Um, and then we got the Rob Wolf game. 
And that's what? There's so many side views to stage, right? I think there's another one right here. Uh -huh. Or no. That was just the one that spiked yeah, that one. That one was a poke pen. And then I think. You see, they just lived forever. Oh, and there's. Yeah. Boom. Like you see that like average of over 150 per stock as the ending percent. Yeah. This was a real neutral heavy. Yeah, you don't see Toon Link dying at 204. But yeah, see, look, he, so he finishes this stock at over 100 and then still nice. manages to find that rang to fair. Nice. Awesome. Unbelievable comeback. All right, and that puts JoJo in the winner sides of Grands. And it looks like, let's see what happened in the loser side. We had Solo taking it over Tarachi. It's 2 0. And Rayon taking it over Debo. So we have 